John, trade deadline today. We're in Buffalo, and uh, obviously one of the dates on the calendar to you, Mark. A busy time for you and your staff. Uh, l let's start with today. A lot of people were wondering about Redeem Verbot and yeah. Shane Doan. First, Redeem, uh, he ends up staying. Take us through the day with him. Oh, it was just like any other player. It's uh, We like having him. He's had a very productive year. He's been a great player for us. He's part of what we're trying to do in terms of grow our group here. So. Having said that, uh, you know, if someone came and, and wanted to knock my socks off, I'd, I'd make the deal. So uh, th obviously that didn't occur, and, uh, and we're just happy to keep him and keep him as part of our group. And he's a guy, like I said, that's been very productive, had a good year, potentially re-sign him next year. I think he loves being in Arizona. I think that's important, and, uh, and he, he likes playing for tips. So that's all good things for us. I think one of the things that might have run under the radar with, with a guy like Redeem with a young roster is his experience yeah. uh, that he can provide uh, the rest of the way. Is, is that a factor moving forward, do you think? Absolutely. Yeah, I don't even think it's just like number of games played or anything like that. It's it's more about he's a he's just a pro. He uh, goes about his business and he's a quiet guy, but uh, I think it's important that we have some of those guys around for young guys to learn from and go through different scenarios and see how he reacts to it. and. You know, between Shane, as you mentioned, and Redeem, I think we've got some great people that, that our young players can learn from, and that's part of the equation as well. Shane Doan is still a Coyote. Yeah. Uh, the captain is here. Uh, how, how did that play out today? Was, was it ever really uh, uh, an option w f to send him somewhere? No, 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 no discussions whatsoever. Um, not from Shane towards myself or from other teams towards Shane or any, anything like that. So I think there was a lot of publicity made about that kind of stuff but but not a word spoken for myself all right let's go back to this past weekend you made the big deal with minnesota martin hansel and, and ryan white go there and you got a boatload of picks back uh you know the the initial reaction i think from the media across uh, the united states and canada was wow what a great deal for the future for the arizona coyotes uh stockpiling picks and building for the future i would imagine you've got a lot of options yeah. in the future including maybe even draft day he, oh, he always have options, and uh, look, it was tough to lose Marty. He's a big part of our team here and has been for a long time, but he's a 30-year-old pending UFA, and he's got a lot of options, and we just decided at the end of the day that you go through the alternatives, and, uh, and you know, we, we decided that it was a fair price, a very fair price to uh, you know, accrue some more assets. Like I said, I've always said, there's an expansion draft looming. These picks have even more value this year, and, um, you know, going into the draft, we think it's a strong draft. <laughs> Our, scout, our scouts, uh, you know, their resume speaks for itself in terms of the type of talent they've been able to get for our, our, our draft picks. So, uh, you know, excited uh, for the opportunities that it uh, allows us. And, and you mentioned the expansion draft. That, that's a little bit of a curveball this year, not only for you, but for the other teams around the league. How do you think it affected uh, uh, your war room today? And, and, and I don't want you to speculate on, on the different teams, but, but it, it definitely had an effect today, did it not? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a different deadline. So I think you know, probably half my discussions were uh, about expansion opportunities. And uh, again, the deadline wasn't today necessarily. It was... It'll be an expansion draft, but uh, I think we laid a lot of groundwork for some opportunities there. And, and like I said, we've got some good young assets, some picks where uh, some teams have some issues with expansion. We have the ability to pr bring on and protect different players. So uh, for us, uh, you know, we're continuing to build here, and, and that's a part of the equation. And you made some minor minor deals along the way to bolster Tucson. Uh, I know that you've talked in the past about how important it is uh, building that base down there. Yeah, yeah, no, that was that was a crucial part of what we were trying to do. I think they're trying to make a playoff push there. we got a lot of our good young players there, and, and again, they're trying to learn to win, trying to build a good culture down there, so uh, they're going to make a push. Uh, it'll allow us to go through a playoff run there, and you can even have some of our young players that have played up here go down and, and help them through that experience and, and hopefully uh, you know gain some valuable playoff experience, win some rounds, and have a chance to play for some meaningful games, but um, you know, that was kind of the part of the equation as well. Last 19 games of the season, what is the goal for the young roster be, beginning uh, with this next game in Buffalo? Uh, it's, it's like it's, I've said, is uh, you know, they're a young group. they got a lot to prove, uh, a lot of pride. Uh, they got a lot at stake, too, for themselves and for the team. And uh, for us, it's about continuing to grow and build. And if we can finish off real strong here, I think that helps us going into next year a ton. So uh, there shouldn't be any shortage of... Uh, you know, motivation and incentive for these guys to, to play and play well and uh, finish off strong. 
And as you head into the off season, come the middle of April, what, uh, how, how do you see it playing out maybe up to the draft and, the, and then into free agency? What are some of the things that you're looking for with this roster? Uh, I mean, look, I think there's uh, a lot of good young players. So uh, the, our biggest growth is going to come from the development and growth of our, our young players. And, and my job is to continue to, to add to that and then supplement around it. So whether it is a trade or free agency, expansion draft opportunities, um, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm here for, to try and add around those guys. So, uh, again, the major push is going to come from that core. And then my job is to continue to supplement that. John, thanks for this. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.